Hey everyone! Oh, wait, one second, I have to reapply. Just... Okay, that's good. Oh! <laughs> So today, this video is all about doing what you want and expressing yourself how you want to. I know a ton of people are gonna watch this, my family is gonna watch this, people at school are gonna watch this, my friends, people that don't know me, they're gonna watch this and they're probably gonna judge, they're gonna think it's weird, they're gonna be like, why is this boy filming himself wearing makeup because they're judgmental little scumbags? But, um, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys that there's nothing wrong with a boy wearing makeup, a man wearing makeup, and there's nothing wrong with a girl who doesn't wear makeup. Makeup is not a gender thing. I feel like people, especially older people, like people who are 60 years old have had it so rammed into their head over the years that girls wear makeup and guys don't. But that's just something created by society and I don't know, I'm tired of abiding by society's rules. Like it's just so grueling and I don't understand why if you're a guy or if you're a girl, why would you want to stay in one box that like the world puts you in? Wouldn't you want to explode and do what you want and try new things and experiment? Like I don't understand just just being the same, I don't know. That's a whole nother video. But this video is, I sorry, I always clap my hands in my videos. Sorry, I'm like gonna try not to do that. The point of this video is makeup does not define your gender. Stuff that you put on your lips, skin, your eyebrows, your mascara, eyeshadow, anything, it doesn't define your gender. It can be a hard concept to really grasp, especially as I said for older people, as the younger, newer generation always in history has tended to be like the more accepting of newer ideas you know and even for me I remember literally being in middle school and watching YouTube videos and seeing gay people seeing people doing different things having different ideas talking about different things and I remember just like part of me questioned it part of me was like ew what the heck is this and the other part of me liked it and was like ooh, what is this this is interesting they have a point there I feel like everyone has those three parts and when we're with other people we put on the facade of the ew what is this gross just to agree with popular opinion but literally oh my god and side note I just I just want to say this really quick. I love the whole transgender movement. I follow so many transgender YouTubers online. The Jules girl, I think her name is Julie, but she calls everyone her Princess Sparkles people or something. I love her. Gigi Gorgeous, obviously. There's another one. Her name's Brooke. Love Brooke. Um, I watch a transgender female to male. Oh my god, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. But they're all really entertaining and I just find them really interesting. I'm so happy that the world, the media, the masses are starting to encourage that and actually accept that but sometimes people forget that gay guys can wear makeup and be girly and p even put on girls clothes but it doesn't mean they're transgender because there's a difference between gender and gender expression okay and I am planning on making a video where I like basically explain the differences from sexuality gender and gender expression because a lot of people don't understand get them twisted interchange them assume things just because you see a guy walking down the street wearing makeup does not mean that he's transgender or a tranny or a cross dresser I hate that word cross dresser tranny those are ugly words and those are words created by people who are just gross people you know what I mean just in my mind I think of those as degrading words saying that like I'm boy wearing stereotypical women clothes is bad. I feel like if you call someone a tranny or say that they're a cross-dresser, I don't feel like that's a positive. That's a negative word. Do you agree with me or not? I don't know. Maybe I just think that way. I don't like labeling people like that. I don't like pe labeling people at all. And that was something that for so long I could never grasp. The idea of labels. And we really don't... Okay, this lip gloss. I don't know how people wear it. I can like taste it in my mouth and it tastes so bad. It's like... I think I'm gonna have to wipe this off. Okay, but the point of this video is still valid. I was trying to make a point by wearing pink lip gloss and I think I still got the point. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Ugh, I'm so bad at these type of videos, but basically you can do what you want. And honestly, if a man walks down the street wearing full face and makeup or wearing girls clothes, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that look at him in disgust. A lot of people that look at him and judge him. A lot of people that laugh and talk behind his back. But there's also going to be a lot of people that look at him with envy because they wish they could do that. They wish they could express themselves that way, but they're just too scared to. And there's also a lot of people that would look up to him and and be inspired by him, secretly inspired by him, and people who are openly inspired by him. Especially of lately, I've been working, don't care what other people think. If someone, if you're doing something, if I do something that someone else thinks is weird, I'm gonna fight them on it, well not fight them. If they say, why are you wearing makeup? Why are you dressing like that? You kinda are acting like a girl, why'd you do that? That seems really feminine. I'm gonna be like, bitch, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with being feminine? I don't understand what's wrong with being feminine, and why is masculinity so 
fragile. Guys are afraid to carry a purse because people are gonna think they're gay or something or people are gonna think they're transgender and why is that bad if people think that of you? There's just so many messed up things in the world. All I wanna say is I think we should all work to be ourselves. We should all work to not care what other people think and just do whatever we want. And I also think we should all work on accepting and not judging people because it's annoying. Even in like a video I made like a couple of videos ago, I made an eyebrow tutorial. I got a comment that was like, you, you're wearing makeup on your eyebrows. You're a boy. What are you doing? And I'm like, bitch, I thought you were a Nathan Verkey viewer. True Nathan Verkey viewers would not think that way. Okay. So yeah, um, maybe this video helped someone or made someone feel better. I feel like I really messed up. Every time I try to make videos, I get so lost in my thought process. I just, ugh, I should really make notes, like make key points about what I'm gonna talk about in my video in the order. Should really start planning. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or got something out of it. I love all of you. And if you're out there and you feel embarrassed or you feel ashamed of what you're doing or what you wanna do, don't. Forget about what other people think. And I know it can be really hard, but as you get older, it gets a lot easier. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, bye.